Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to the channel. So, um, anyways, I already said my name. I was going to say it again. But, uh, so I was having a moment chilling in the pool and enjoying this lovely umbrella and getting me some sun with a ton of SPF on my face. Because, uh, you know, if you know, you know, when you get older, you get like uh, sunspots, which I spend a lot of time outside in the summer. So, you guys, I get sunspots. I hate them. Um, anyway, so... I was sitting here just really enjoying floating around. It's really hot today. I think it is, it's 96 actual degrees right now. And so the real fill is probably around 105. I don't know what the humidity is. I'll check. But anyway, um, it's hot. So it's only okay in the shade. And uh, so anyways, I was just having like a little midweek, midday float around the pool and getting my tan on we're getting ready for a beach trip soon and I just love being as tan as possible all summer long um also benefit I don't burn it's just my genetics but so while I was doing that I was thinking you know what would be really great is if I got out of the pool and I weeded the shade garden over here which I showed you in that recent garden tour is really really bad at least the the weeds that are easy to get you know like with a hoe and just kind of get them out and then I could get back in the pool to cool off so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm over here with no supplies. I'm literally in a bathing suit and a cover up and some flip flops. But I'm gonna run over to the other side of the house. I'm gonna grab a hoe and I'm gonna see if I can find my weed bag to clean stuff up in. And I'm just gonna work until I get too hot. Then I'm gonna dip in the pool. And if I'm not done, then I'm gonna work some more and I'm gonna dip in the pool again. When I lived in Arizona, this was how I gardened all the time. I would garden in my bathing suit and I'd work until I got too hot, get in the pool get out work some more it's a wonderful method if you have access to a pool um especially in the summer when it is so freaking hot you know when i said it's 96 it's only like noon okay so i mean i guess you could say it's the hottest part of the day but for us like 12 to 3 seems to like feel so much hotter but i've just got bad weeds over there and they're driving me crazy now that they're getting so much worse and now that i've shown them to you in a video i feel like even more accountable <laughs> maple's out here with me she was hiding under the deck so, um, I don't have my tripod out here with me, so I don't know how much I'll film, but definitely show you before and after, but I may be able to set my camera up on the deck or something. Oh, another sad fact, sad thing happened today. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just turn you around. Over there behind Maple, I'll just go up there and show you. She knocked over my poor little beautiful red ceramic pot today i don't know how i was like literally just about to walk out the door and then boom heard a big crash open the door there she was so that is really sad that's got a sweet potato vine in it so i can save that vine they're very resilient i just need to get it move it somewhere else i'm not gonna do that right now i'm tired this one is looking so lovely but i really loved that trio here so i'm gonna have to get something else but see she even broke the little shelf off of this thing she looks very hot she looks like she wants to go inside don't you okay let me let you inside oh also i want to mention that some of our timu order came in look how pretty that is i don't know what it is oh you like hanging up on the wall so connor was opening some of this for me i don't know if it's all my garden decor oh i see some garden decor how fun oh my gosh so maybe after we do some stuff outside uh, yeah, this looks like it's most of my stuff. I'm so excited. You guys, this stuff is going to be so adorable. Mm. Oh my God. Can't wait to show you. Okay. So it's like the majority of it. Oh, there's my sunglasses. The majority of it is garden decor. Um, like little statues. There's like a couple little angel statues. There's um, a little dragon statue. Which is cool. All right. So, man, I forgot to water my kitchen garden last night because I got busy making dinner and then I got tired. Did not come back out here. That is such a, such a bad thing. The, uh, my containers are really wilting down. But anyways, I'm just looking for, I was pretty sure we had a hoe over here. I know there's one all the way down in the in the in-ground garden but that's my husband's hoe because we have like three so we keep them kind of spread out so that's known as his hoe <laughs> not me <laughs> the garden hoe um but i mean i guess that could be me too you know 
good old garden hoe. <laughs> um, so we have others, which used to be way over in the other garden. Well, my husband worked on kind of cleaning this area up a bit. I hadn't noticed that between the old building and the new building. He just kind of shove stuff up in there, which some of that is some stuff I need. Anyways, definitely need to organize that better. That's cool. I hadn't even known that he had done that. But that's really neat. I need to power wash this side of the building with the kayaks and the back here. And that's been on my to-do list for a while. So we just need to hoe in a bag. Hoe in a bag. Oh, how cool. My husband is so cute. He just gets to working on stuff. And like I never know until I stumble upon it. But like he put all these yard tools and a metal trash can. So, oh, and our kayak paddle. And shovels. Boy, is that handy. I can't tell. Okay, that's... Okay, none of those are hoes. This guy is super duper handy, though, for raking up your mess. Because it expands. It gets really big. Or it can be skinny. That's handy. But, looks like he also... Um, brought in my other landscape fabric out there that I had just left in the, on the ground blowing around in the wind. Okay, where is my pop-up bag? Where is my pop-up bag? I could honestly probably use this rake to get most of those weeds out. That's how easy they are to come out. They're like a succulent vine. Sorry you're getting such a close shot of my face. Being totally unprofessional. You know, just a person. Just a person like you are. Alright, well I guess I could try this. If this doesn't work, I can go get the hoe in my husband's garden. Because I'm not seeing... Where the others are. I'm really excited to get the bamboo fence up here. And shield this mess really soon i've actually had the bamboo fencing setting over here in the cottage garden for like two weeks and then my husband went and found me t-posts which he threw over here and now i don't know where they're at i guess he moved them again um i think that's going to be a super easy install it's just been so hot finding the right time to work on it is a little more difficult <sighs> so much to do you ever just walk around and be like dang i got so much stuff to do shoot Oh, uh, that's me. That's my life. All right, so I've got my handheld weeding tool, which is amazing. But the reason I wasn't looking for it from the jump, this guy, which is so rusty. This really needs to be, um, where you, do, where you take a grinder to it and really, like, you sharpen it and clean all the junk off and the rust off. Anyways, that needs to be done. But, um reason I wasn't initially looking for this is because that area, the reason I've put off weeding it, just, I'm not making excuses, I'm just being totally honest, is because when it gets grown up that bad, I worry about snakes. And the first time I ever saw a snake on this property, it was over there on that side of the house, you know, between some bushes. So along the house, when you have like crawl space vents, along the house, you know, some of your AC can leak out and it's cooler there. So creatures like to chill there. So when it got really grown up, I was like, mm, no, not gonna, not gonna touch it until I have to. Well, now I have to, so. Um, in case you didn't see the video tour, I'll show you what this area looks like again really quick. So this is one of them really succulenty weeds. There's some there and all around this fern, all around this hosta. Like this area right here, I'd say it's probably the worst. And then I, I brought my clippers because I'm also going to cut back the hosta flowers and some of this uh, lemon balm that's like taking over everything. And again, I'm going to cut these flowers back. Here's some of that weed. So I think a lot of it I can probably just pull out with the rake. I just, what I was saying with the handheld one is I just don't want to get too real close down in there and risk running into a creature. So 
I thought I'd show you this. This is such a handy tool. You, you lift the handle up and then see it expands. So for getting the weeds, I actually want to keep it kind of, the prongs kind of tight together and uh, see how that works. All right, so my phone actually got too hot to film anything. So I'm, I'm fixing to take a break and get in the pool, but I wanted to show you what I got done because man, I went to town and it felt so good. All right, so here along the front, you can see like the debris. I trimmed back the hostas of just the flowers. I'm not gonna do the yellow part in the middle of the day because it's hot. Um, and then there's all the other weeds. So I came out of my cover up. Um, I trimmed some of the lilies that were done flowering and the other ones I just went through and you know pulled off the dead flowers like this guess I missed a couple but anyways just so they don't look so haggard in between flowering <sighs> okay so the rate did not work at all I don't know if that even showed in that last clip I ended up having to use my hori hori knife to pull the the Vaughn weed and then and then I just had to get in there and get a hold of it so got a lot of it it's not perfect nothing in my life is perfect okay um these are some flowers i seeded last year i don't know what they are never seen them flower but i could tell by the different leaves that they were not weeds so now you can see my hookara finally you can see the pot that the fern is in which this fern is happy here so i mean i just keep leaving it i put it there because i literally thought it was just gonna die but i knew if it didn't die it would get shade here so Anyway, that's where it ended up. I also trimmed some arms off of this weed tree to start to shape it more like a tree. So I just trimmed it up a lot. And then got all these weeds in here. Now you can finally see that hosta. And I cut back its flower. And so some of this in here is still that weed. Let me show you what I mean. Oh, this is what it looks like. And see, like a, any other vine or succulent, it just puts out little roots everywhere it's got soil contact, so it just keeps spreading. But you can see the kind of leaves it has, right? Well, in here, I have some succulents I put in here. These are ground sprawling succulents. I have them in here for ground cover. To My intent was to suffocate out these weeds, but it doesn't work, obviously. And so seeing you get in here and you try and pull these and you're like, okay, is that succulent or is that morning glory? And it gets hard to be able to tell the difference. You've got to like pull up each stem <laughs> and see. So I decided, you know, to just kind of do the best I could. Like seeing if it's got a long stem like this, it's that. Because the succulent is a ground cover. It doesn't get real tall like... See if I can even find you a good example. I just keep finding more morning glory. What are you doing, kitty cat? What are you doing? Goody, 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 goody. <laughs> meow. 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 <laughs> Anyways, here's the succulent. So see, they don't have a whole lot of stem you can see that's not covered in leaves. So when we see some of these other ones like this, this is that succulent succulent vine here's my actual succulent this detached and I can just throw it down right there you guys and it'll just root itself it's amazing so anyways so I did not get them 100% but way way better and this is progress and the kitties are cute um in this bed this is where I got to you can see I still got lots to do I'm gonna do that after my next break but I did trim back these glads and those glads and I've got my debris all here in a pile. Now I'm going to get in the pool and cool off a bit and then I will tackle some more and it'd be great if I could get it all done. I've already already did more than I thought I would in that first round and I've got like 75% of this bed left. Um, these areas were the worst. And if I get real rambunctious, 
while I have my hori hori knife over here, I could get the edge of this pool bed. <laughs> um, this one right over here. Yeah, this one right over here. That right side was always weedier because I didn't give it a good weeding when I planted there. I got tired by that end. So that's the side that really needs it the most. So anyways, I'm gonna cool off and relax and then get back to it. I just have to say, this is the best idea I've had in ages because I love being in the sun. I love getting a tan. I love being in the water and I love gardening and weeding, but man, you know, combining gardening in summertime without some water is rough. Uh, anyway, so I'm excited. I've actually gotten a lot more done. I'm almost done since I last filmed, but I'm back having another break because my back was really starting to bother me. You know, that's all bending and squatting work. And it's been a little irritated lately anyways. I'm not sure what really kicked it off, but then I've been doing some more uh, gardening stuff than I was doing, I guess, closer together, not giving it kind of enough time <clears throat> to heal. Because, like, if you're new here, I have an ongoing back problem. I have lower lower back um, issues. I have a, a curved spine, which is mostly corrected because two years chiropractor, um, and a, a hip that was out that caused the lower back problems. And I would say that was mostly corrected, too. But I have caused it issues over the years since being at the chiropractor regularly and caused it to come back out and re-injure myself. And if I don't take enough time to kind of baby it a few days, um, it'll just get worse and worse and worse. And that's kind of where we're at now. You know when you have one of those chores that you put off because, you know, you know it's going to hurt your back and it's going to be poopy, whatever. And then you finally get it done and you're just like, it's so like extra super duper rewarding. That's how I feel right now. This area looks so much better. And I think I am going to go ahead and stop where I'm at. I made it all the way back to the hydrangeas. And beyond that is just like a mesh of almost nothingness around the back stairs. And all of the stuff that I'm keeping will be pulled out from this whole area that I'm working on when we eventually build our deck, which we're going to try and, and plan for this fall. It, it may be after swimming season, but we're just, we've got so much traveling coming up in August and September and uh, two family weddings to go to, lots of trips, multiple trips in that, those two months. <sighs> so, um, so we'll probably shift our focus back to, to building the new deck after that so um so that's when i'll be pulling out any of those everything over there is perennials by the way um and i'll be pulling out anything over there that i'm going to save which is probably the majority of it and and relocating it up in front of the new deck which right now is just lawn and so that'll be happening so um so i'm not too worried about the area by the back door because there's nothing living there um so it's just weeds and mulch the weeds that grew through the mulch and um and it's all going to be covered by deck so i mean i could just you know whatever my husband actually because there's no plants there when he weed eats he actually weed eats the weeds so they don't get too bad so i'm not gonna worry about hand pulling those look how cute these sunflowers are here in the pool bed and they're peeking up over the pool you see what i mean they're so cute i'm gonna have to do this every year now i just love it it's adorable <sighs> All right, so I've got the pool ladder put up and the umbrella taken down because we don't leave it up because it's actually fallen off uh, into the pool twice by not much wind. So just gotta get my stuff cleaned up here and uh, rake up the stuff. Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, what I got done. Okay, so you already saw this part. Now with the lemon balm, what I did was I trimmed it back to this rose. I need to move both of the rose trellises because for some reason they're like feet away from where they should be. No, no idea what's up with that. So there's still a lot of the lemon balm left, uh, but I pulled out a good amount. I trimmed everything along the edge, but now this yarrow can see the light of day. Right here, this spot was covered in weeds and you can see my succulent I have down there. 
And then we've got all this cleaned up. Look at this, you guys. So much debris cleaned up in here. Maple likes to lay there. And you can see around this hosta now. And I got all around this rose here and also trimmed off last year's deadwood. So I'm going to fertilize these two roses because they've done well before this year. They've been here three or four years now. This is the first year that they've done crappy. So they probably just need some rose fertilizer. And then did in here. And that spot, I just could barely reach. My back was really killing me, so I just kind of left it. The biggest difference here is this wormwood came all the way out into the grass. You can see it's all right there. I cut it way back, and I trimmed this side because it's growing into the hydrangeas. And I have another wormwood elsewhere on the property that I let it sprawl and get gigantic. So I may just cut this one out. And this is what I mean. This is where I stopped weeding. We've got hydrangeas, elephant ears, and... You come down here and that's where it ends and then we've just got these weeds here and nothing else back here so i am happy with that you guys look at that oh my goodness so i'm really stoked to have all that done i want to thank you for being here today i think this video is long enough i'm going to do the timu haul in another video and let it be its own dedicated video because <sighs> that'll be fun so anyway so i'm just going to wrap up by raking up all this debris into a singular pile and then i'll probably come back out this evening when it cools down a bit and either get it in my pop-up bag or in the wheelbarrow and then all this junk goes into our tall grass back there just to go you know break down and feed the earth so um but there is like a few pieces of actual trash in here something on a fuller uh gets on my nerves kids dog it's like a frisbee a cub just randomness anyways so, um, I'm going to take that stuff in with me when I go. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys have had a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoyed coming along while I'm finally getting around to weeding after living here again for, what is it? Three months. Three months in the wild weed growing season. And I hadn't weeded a thing until today. So, better late than never. Never shooting for perfect. For per never shooting for perfection. So I say we're just right on time. Anyways, have a wonderful day, you guys. Mwah.